It is important to also recognize the attacks by Hamas did not happen in a vacuum. The Palestinian people have been subjected to 56 years of suffocating occupation. They have seen their land steadily devoured by settlements and plagued by violence, their economy stifled, their people displaced, and their homes demolished. Their hopes for a political solution to their plight have been vanishing. But the grievances of the Palestinian people cannot justify the appalling attacks by Hamas, and those appalling attacks cannot justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. To ease epic suffering, make the deliver of aid easier and safer, and facilitate the release of hostages, I reiterate my appeal for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. Excellencies, even in this moment of grave and immediate danger, we cannot lose sight of the only realistic foundation for a true peace and stability, a two-state solution. Israelis must see their legitimate needs for security materialized, and Palestinians must see their legitimate aspirations for an independent state realized in line with the United Nations resolution, international laws, and previous agreements. 